The stories you've never heard. Who did Suzanne Hill famously slap? The jokes behind the jokes. What would happen if I did a great big fart? For the first time ever on Ash Lutzi and Suzy O'Neill. I can't, I just need a pen. <laughs> we go behind the laughter. Prod Pod produces podcast at the end of a Tuesday, which feels like a Friday, but it's not really a Friday because for some reason we have a public holiday in Brisbane in the middle of the week. Woohoo! Mm. Hello, welcome to Behind the Laughter. This is the producer's podcast where this actually really stuffs us up because <laughs> I don't know how to frame my week now. I know they all go, they, they can run off, they can do whatever, but this is, do you, do you find this week messy? Yeah, it's a bit, I, I, I'm with Ash, I'd much rather a public holiday be on a Monday than a Wednesday. It's just... It, it kind of just pauses what you're doing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, it's like L- L- Lucky Buzz leaves me saying, he's like, I keep thinking it's Friday. Like, it feels like there's not a lot to do, but there, there is, because we are back on Thursday. Yeah. So. There's still a... Look, I... I don't mind a Wednesday public holiday. I'll go up, I'll go on the record and say that I don't mind it. This is big. Is this the first it's, time you've spoken on it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, I prefer it over a Tuesday or a Thursday public holiday. Tuesday or Thursday public holidays, you get in the absolute bin because then you've got one day. Like you're either coming back to work for one day and then you're going back and having a day off. Mm. At least having a two day buffer feels better than you know a one. Like it kind of feels like how my yeah. work week should be. Yeah, that's, mm, that's... Well, if I had a four-day work week, I think I'd take Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Really? To work. Okay. And break it up. Well, hopefully we can just grab that audio there of Lockie speaking on the public holiday. We can get that into Maham's news by 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yes. Big statement I'd, from I'd, I'd, ask, I'd ask Dylan to cut it up. It's Dylan's birthday and no more extra words no. for Dylan, no. part of the AV union. Happy birthday to our audio Happy producer, Dylan. Happy birthday, Dylan. He won't listen to this. No, he doesn't listen to this. He also kept it very K5. I did not know it was his birthday until I came in and I saw all the screens. Oh, those screens are like, and well done to Jesse on reception who puts up the lovely screens. It's very very nice and cultural, but uh, yeah, it does give away information that some people try and hide. Should we get Dylan to come in? Just for he would hate that. No, I know that's kind of the bit. No, but that's just, I'm trying to protect a member of my AV union. <laughs> we knew. Hey, we... Dill, can you just come in? It's really important, buddy. We, really uh, important. We knew we'd come up against resistance in the AV union. Sometimes the devil wears a disguise. Mm. You know what I'm trying to cite here? <laughs> I, no, I actually don't. Devil wears a familiar face. No, no. I'm trying to say that. Uh, what are you trying to say? Um, I'm trying to. Sometimes I try and hit you with uh, scripture lines that I've heard through <laughs> multiple like TV shows, and you just sure. you look at me like, "What are you doing?" And this is one of those times, so I'm just going to yeah. back away from this. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're halfway through the week. Uh, Air Lutzies are flying. <gasps> That's so exciting! I want a pair. Yeah. That's I mean, how I, feel about I, I, said, I said last week that we were all promised a pair at one point, and then that promise was retracted. We we do have a few like sort of sneakerheads here in our um in our team. Like Buzz loves mm. a pair of wheels. Yeah. Lutzy does as well. Um, I'm a bit more the type of white shoe operator that goes if they get dirty, I'll try and clean them once, and then I'll yeah. go, eh, they're done. Yeah, because they're shoes, right. and they're the closest thing to the ground, and they're supposed to protect the rest of your body from getting dirty. <laughs> yeah, and I'm very I'm very much that way. Also, I just don't have the money to be splashing out on oh, yeah, that too, really yeah. fancy. Digs really fancy shoes. Digs. My fake RMs have just peeled themselves away, so I need to get some more fake RMs. See, I, I I would laugh at you for trying to get fake RMs, but I got scammed once during oh, COVID, buddy. where I thought I was buying and get this two pairs of RMs for a hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. So whenever That's Ash brings great. up his scam story, I'm like, I've got one. I'm like, no, <laughs> maybe don't tell the one because yours is a lot worse than his. You idiot. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I did love it though, because the scabbers like did send like a follow up email, like going, "It's on the way." I'm like, "Oh, you bastards!" No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> They're not coming. Oh well. They're not coming. Thanks, Lockie. That's your fault. It Falling is. For it. Yeah. But no, but so talk us. I mean, I know you talked us through the process a little bit last week, but how's it been this week since we started it? Has it been as difficult as last time? Um. Yeah. Equal, <laughs> equally yeah, difficult. Uh, I see. I see. Yes. I see. You run in every morning, bring your laptop in, so yep. Lottie can. Open up the page. I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure, like the sort of the nuclear keys, both of you have like one key to us, and you both yeah. turn it, then open up the Nike custom website. That's exactly how it works. Um, um, and, and I would not encourage people to go on the Nike website themselves and attempt because they would be well, not if you're trying to play. No, because Lockie has the passcodes like handcuffed exactly. to his hand in exactly. a metal briefcase. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, no, it's more so the back end where they don't. I, I said this last week. It's so, it's actually not that interesting unless you also have a job in which you have to claim. Everything on your company credit card, and you have to chase. I think up a tax lot of receipts. people have those jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the Nike website doesn't offer a tax receipt. 
Which is just wild to me. Uh, I'm sure that's a legal request. I'm sure that's a legal request. No, not when it's a US company. They they give their version of a tax receipt, which doesn't have an ABN on it, which is what our finance people want. They, as long as it's got an ABN, that uh, I'm like, hey, you you just Do go to the ABN. Do they not have a Nike up. Australia website? Yeah, but it, it won't. It needs to be on the same form. Anyway, it's not worth me trying to doctor up a receipt. <laughs> no. I'd get in more trouble if I tried yeah. to fake something. I, like I, if Lockie got brought down for creative accounting, trying to just do the right thing, I don't know why the ATO like would swarm on the building and take mm. Lockie out in handcuffs. Mm. But I can see that happening. Like yeah. it's tax time right now, and you know I started using an accountant mainly because. I was terrified of making a mistake yeah, that would sure. like end me like up in prison. Going, oh, we never, we really did never learn this in school, and that's fine. They didn't have time to teach us everything, and I'm sure I'm okay. Maybe they did, and I wasn't paying attention. But also, it's complicated, and there are people who get away with a lot, and there are people who just declare everything, and somehow the system rewards the wrong people. But anyway, uh, I'm hopefully not going to jail again this year, which well, that's, is really nice. That, that's good That's good of you. I do know that there's another podcast on a competing uh, podcast network. How do you know that, Lockie? There's only one. Where, oh, are, they research. The, where are they sitting in the Triton rankings? Uh, I think they're top three, at least. Oh, huge. Um, yeah. they're, they're one of the big boys. Uh, they are currently doing a story arc where they are creating a, a con-con, where it's a con- convention because you can claim a convention on it on tax. Uh, and so they're creating this massive convention where they're going to try and touch on every single person's job, uh, hmm. something relevant to each of their jobs, so they can claim it all on tax. Something called ConCon in the top three podcasts. I wonder who could be doing it. Yeah, I know. No, I don't know. <laughs> Tough to say. Tough to say. Clearly not making enough noise about it. Yeah. No. I haven't read anything on radio today about it. So. <laughs> Favourite publication. Oh, so uh, looking at the rest of the week. Oh, first of all, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I've, I've, tell me. I've, I've really enjoyed Lotsie being back. Yes, there's been a, been great. There's been been a real yeah. energy since he's been back. I know he does an awesome job to do the show uh, like down the line from wherever he's broadcasting from. But but it's not it, the same. There's an aura. There's mm. truly an aura, and it's it is instantly it's an instantly funny show. He came bearing gifts. He did. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys got as a gift, but yeah. I got I got the scraps. Did you get a rucksack? <laughs> I got, yeah, I got like this got a rucksack. This like bum bag type thing. Yeah, uh, a, a satchel of sorts. It, it, half satchel, half bum bag. It felt very last minute. <laughs> yeah. Did you get anything? Nick? I, got, I got the same thing Lockie did. <laughs> did you? I <laughs> didn't even get it. I didn't even get like given something in particular. He just kind of left the scraps on the bench out there of the things that he hadn't given away. I was like, oh, Alicia, oh. there's a there's a bag out here with some stuff in it. If you want anything, Alicia, that's the same thing we got. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's no different. If you anything, just chose you, the bum bags. No, okay. no, no. If anything, you got to choose. Nick and I didn't choose. No, he just gave got, it to us. No, do, yeah, do you know was, the way he framed it to me? Like he goes, oh mate, I grabbed you some stuff from um, from overseas. Like oh. That's really sweet of you, mate. And then, like, he's like the Coca-Cola rucksack, which we've all we've all seen now. <laughs> and he goes, "Oh, and there's, there's a water bottle in here. I, I know you like riding to work." And I'm like, "So you know I like drinking water." <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, he uh, could have brought us nothing, and that's yeah. uh, hey, I'm very grateful. I'm, I'm very grateful gr- for the for all you, the freebies Lassie. that we got. This week. <laughs> we take yeah. any. We, that's, that, p- that's our rule here in the show. We we take anything. <laughs> we take what we, we can get. get. I'm yeah. wearing a pizza hat bucket hat right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, yeah. a pizza hut bucket hat. Yeah. I believe. Uh, I think he's a no, pizza no, hat. they just very quickly rebranded to <laughs> pizza, pizza hat. hat. Yeah. <laughs> actually, if they did hats in the shape of their roofs, I'd actually oh. then, come on, guys. That would be great. Oh, that, we don't have to come up with every idea. I was I I pitched to Buzz and Alicia yesterday that we should start a social cricket uh, cricket or tennis probably suits itself better to tennis uh, club called Only Slices and we and we wear the, I think uh, Buzz the bucket hats. did a countdown for that did he not? Yeah, he... So for those that don't know Buzz has <laughs> oh, a Oh yeah how we've never talked about I this. don't know how we've not brought this up before so Buzz has an Apple Watch and he started he lets, like, us, he lets us know he's got an yeah, Apple Watch he's got he's, yeah Apple Watch people are really just like I know. Oh, by the way I've got an Apple Watch he's, he's, watch, he's watch set up a very is. easy on screen timer for him so at the press of one button it'll start the timer a short, he set up a shortcut where yeah. he can press one button and it will instantly go to a and timer so he started the timer for how much time Lockie has wasted of his <laughs> in this past year and it is up to a crazy number I think he did leave it on one day though and that's why it's got Look, so high ironically, but it's up to like 42 hours like, if, if he's listening right now the clock's running yeah so whatever Lockie says something like what he said just then I can't even remember what it was it was that stupid (laughs) (laughs) only slices just just raises his wrist looks Lockie in the eye and presses the button (laughs) (laughs) to start the timer uh, here's the thing though I stand by the fact that when you were brainstorming you have to get the as, as, as Ed Sheeran would have it when you're songwriting he says that it's like turning on a tap and you get the gunk comes out initially 
but then the water starts to flow and clean water so starts lucky, to flow. So, Lockie, when's your water going to start flowing? Hey, it, <laughs> it, it's been flowing for a while. Uh, Just kidding. I cannot if, if say you, anything. You, aren't you allergic it. to water? I am allergic exactly. to Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm if, allergic. If to anything, it. you're just allergic to the good ideas that I'm bringing. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Clean enough shit at the wall, something sticks. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of my philosophy yeah. with oh, Anita. Well, like you hear me in meetings just like espouse some absolute babble out of my mouth, and mm. I was like, I watch it like float off into the ether. I'm like, nah, I'm going to leave that one. Yeah. But Buzz Let did have go. to come to me let and make go. an apology about the, the watch thing. Did I, don't he? Know, I don't know whether that was enforced, whether he had a, a moment of like, oh, because. Did that, you make a complaint did about Did he deduct no, five no, minutes from the no, time? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, he added. He spent the entire time with the with the timer on. As he wasting, he's the wasting, fact he, that he, I have to apologise to yeah. you is wasting my time. That's the thing, but because of Lockie, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. but I, I think I think he saw there was one. I had a day in the last couple of weeks where I was having a great day. And I, I pitched an idea and he jokingly like went to the watch and I was like, oh, that's fine. Like, at this point, I know that it's a joke that he's not actually being serious about Stop wasting my time because oh, at least I hope it's a joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that whip didn't go well the other day, did it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, I know it's a joke. And so there was just one day where he made the gag, and I just wasn't in the headspace to be like, oh, that was actually a legitimate idea that I that I had that I thought you know it's not the best idea, but at least it's a thought starter. And because he went to the watch, I think he realized in that moment that oh, if I consistently just dump on all these ideas, whether they're good or bad, whether they're uh, you know, thought starters or whether they're, you know, just silly, dumb suggestions. Because there are times where I'll say stuff as a joke and I know that the idea is a, is a shit idea, but I say it as a joke because I'm like, oh, this will hopefully make people laugh. Yeah. And so... It might trigger a thought in someone else. Well, exactly. Uh, I just say bad puns until we eventually <laughs> arrive at something. <laughs> well, yeah. Which we, is usually another bad pun. Yeah. <laughs> we, we spent, what, 10 minutes just before in a meeting coming up with an idea for an upcoming promo and it was mostly that, just... Coming up what with bad rhymes puns. with that word? What, yeah. what mm. rhymes with this word? So all reverse engineering it yeah. to try yeah. and work out what the promo is from the name. Plus, yeah. new game we came up with on Bruhaha today. Oh, I thought it was a great. I thought I had a great time. I, actually, on Bruhaha. A, I think if we tighten that up, it's going to nominative determinism is going to be a really good name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just fun to say. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> good times. Good well, times. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that'll do us before we yeah. uh, ride off into the sunset. Well, mm. not, not the sunset. It's just we can't mm. see anything. It's just grey skies, and uh, yeah. I um I think I'll take on the Ecker crowds tomorrow as we normally you, you, do, and get taken on the Ecker. Yeah, get a little bit half cut in the Warworth Pavilion, and uh, just just uh, well, that's that's how I make my toasted sandwiches so well here at the station is because half drunk I've just been leaning on that counter of the two dollar toasty place. Oh yes, you said ju- this just watching them go. <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> 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 Do you put any salt and pepper in your toasted sandwiches? I'm not an animal. <laughs> well, I, uh, you wouldn't be able to answer the question. You wouldn't be able to put ham in your toasted sandwich because that's something that they've removed from the kitchen. Have you noticed? Yeah, I was yeah, going to say we, we don't get that anymore. We don't even get the good bread. We get the cheap bottom shelf bread now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a sad time. Yeah, it it's is. because all the money's gone into paying bills. Exactly right. So uh, if you want to get ham on your toasted sandwich, uh, <laughs> we can be paying that bill. A uh, rain sodden Mitch will be out in the streets on Thursday yeah, again. Poor Mitch. He didn't even use the pon. I gave him a rain poncho and he didn't use it. To be fair to Mitch though, a lovely idea, lovely suggestion to protect Mitch from the, the weather, but the rain poncho, as soon as you start getting water on it, you actually wouldn't be able to read what's on his t-shirt. And if there's anything I learned... No, but if if there's anything I learned from marketing in the you know the five years I would arguably wasted at uni, billboards. What's really important is that you're able to see the message clearly, yeah. and you don't overcomplicate things. Yeah. Oh, I was I was looking at that sign before going. Well, you can clearly see we'll pay your bills, Brisbane. You well, can, yeah, you couldn't. You, ver- yeah, you can kind of see that it says Nova above it, and then it's the Ash Lutz and Susie O'Neill's hundred thousand dollar pay your bills logo. What Excuse happens to you, you on this podcast? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Uh, it's it's like the artwork that they've created. But at a distance, it's not legible. Yeah. It's not. And I so, agree. I and if there's anything well. that we know about driving on wet roads, it's you, you want to be looking at every little distraction yeah. to drive exactly. past. Exactly. So I'm glad he didn't wear it just so that we could maybe still get a little bit of that Nova branding out there. Uh, and mm. it wasn't covered by a poncho. Yeah, we've, well, added, we've added purple as our uh, tertiary colour yeah. for our, uh, our third kit. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're going to keep doing that, though. Mitch is going to continue going out, spreading the word for Pay Your Bills. So that'll be yeah. continuing yeah. on Thursday and into next week. Sounds That's good. Fun. And, and we've we... got the... Um, sorry. No, no. Oh, wow. We've got the Handball Blitz semi-final this weekend. How's yeah. that going behind the scenes a lot, Colin? Well, have you been catching up with the Handball Blitz podcast? Yeah, that's a question for you, Alicia. Always. Yeah, okay. You always listen to the Humble yeah. podcast. So what's your favourite part? What's your favourite segment that we uh, do? When you play an extended interview with the person that was at the school. 
Ooh, yeah. she clearly hasn't listened could, to the podcast. Say that about any sports show, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. interesting. Sounds what, like what's the name of the sports program where higher uh, handball topics are discussed and opinions are given? Mm. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Handball 360. Disappointing. Yeah. You're meant to be the executive producer of the show, and you're not even executively producing the podcast that we do. Oh, okay. Well, I look after all the other podcasts, but nobody told me there was going to be a Handball Blitz podcast until mm. it was already the first one was out there. And I was like, oh, thanks for. Oh. And this is why we have our meetings me. on this podcast. Absolutely. That's yeah. why we have all meetings here. Yeah. So, anyway. Anyway, Lockie's got to go That's meet that. with a chemist after this. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> Are you allergic <laughs> to this? Like, so what is go- <laughs> Me and Nick will be back on Thursday. Yeah. Lockie will be Lock 10 dead. foot under. Yeah, so. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Lockie uh, will be in like a 1900s infirmary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.